You want to put mayonnaise on your hot dog? Oh, okay. Be my guest. Whoa. What the heck was that? Is that Cassian Reed? Not funny. Dear Tim and Moby, can you tell me about Amelia Earhart from Angela? Thanks for the question, but next time, please just mail it to us. Anyway, Amelia Earhart was a famous aviator or airplane pilot during the first half of the 20th century. Well, back then, women were often thought of as homemakers and not much else. But Amelia Earhart dedicated her life to proving that women could do anything that men could. She was born in Atchison, Kansas in 1897. As a child, she loved climbing trees, collecting bugs, and hunting rats with a rifle. She was known for her fearlessness. After taking a brief airplane trip as a young woman, she decided that flying was her destiny. She bought a bright yellow biplane and started taking lessons. In 1922, Earhart flew to a height of 14,000 feet, setting a world record for female pilots. And a year later, she became only the 16th woman in the world to get her pilot's license. I'm glad you asked, Moby. Amelia Earhart lived during what's called the Golden Age of Aviation. Aircraft technology was improving fast. New records were constantly being set. But flying wasn't like it is today. The big passenger planes we're all familiar with hadn't been invented yet, and flying was still pretty dangerous. As a result, pilots were viewed as courageous, death-defying heroes. So when Charles Lindbergh made the first solo flight across the Atlantic Ocean in 1927, he instantly became one of the most famous people in the world. Well, like I said, there was a common misconception at the time that women were too delicate for this kind of adventure. But Earhart proved them all wrong. A year after Lindbergh's flight, she became the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. Although she was only a passenger, she was given a ticker tape parade and a reception at the White House when she returned to America. Well, Amelia wasn't content with her feet. She wanted to do something even more special. So, in 1932, she flew across the Atlantic again, this time all by herself. She was the first person after Lindbergh to do this, and it made her one of the most famous women in the world. But she didn't stop there. Earhart wrote two books about her adventures, traveled the country delivering lectures, and helped found an organization for female pilots. They were called the 99s. She was named vice president of the National Aeronautic Association and joined the faculty of Purdue University. She even helped design and endorse her own line of women's clothing. And she kept setting records in her plane. She became the first woman to make a round-trip solo flight across the United States, the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to California, the first person to fly solo from Mexico City to the East Coast. Yeah, okay, okay, you get the idea. Anyway, in 1937, Earhart embarked on her most daring mission yet. She decided to fly around the entire globe along the equator. Unfortunately, she didn't make it. On July 2nd, after she'd already gone three-quarters of the way around, her plane disappeared over the Pacific Ocean. Well, the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard spent weeks looking for any sign of her plane, but they couldn't find a thing. No one knows for sure what happened to her, but most people believe she ran out of fuel, crashed, and died. Still, Amelia Earhart will always be remembered for being a true pioneer. Oh.